Look, here's what I think's happened. You've come in here with a very romantic notion of me and marriage and your life. Come, Empress. You met me, and I'm not a romantic man. Huh? Hmm? It's for you. I like to be alone in the morning. She should be here for breakfast. That is the agreement. You are disgusting! You don't lie to me again! You are the only person who has not loved me. An astonishing emperor. Yes. Ah, you're here. I do have a temper and some rage. You cannot cross me. Especially not in front of others. Yes, I didn't catch Look, Peter. You said she was the one. You said you'd seen it. You said she'd make me happy. I... Do I look happy? Touche. What? Touche. Do you mean touche? You know, no one ever apologized to me. And as I'm writing a new chapter, perhaps apologizing should be in it. It's a new day. A time to put things behind us. Teething problems, I believe they call it. Are you apologizing to me? I am loved. Oops. Someone tried to kill you. Touche. Hey. Please live. I'm not ready. We're married, but we don't do it for each other. Your hair is golden in the sun. Your accent is formidable. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> She cares more whether or not I die than I do. It is you love her. <laughs> Hilarious, Creole. What happened with Peter was physical. Leo is the one for me. Touche. Hey, I always forget the air. I have odd feelings for you. For me? I may love you. We are not lovers. We will never be lovers. It is a joke. You are slow of mind and wit. Catherine, I look at you on your 20th birthday. A woman of substance. A woman of wise thought and deed. Your lips that speak so wisely. Your eyes that see the world in a way no one else does. Your head fizzing with original ideas. Your heart filled with a powerful love for life. And hopefully for me. Let your feelings focus your action. That seems smart. What would you do? You want my advice? Thinking about your father. And you know. You're my husband. You're my wife. Paul is my child. I will protect that which I love, no matter what. Read these books with me. These ideas that are sweeping Europe. Are you reading? Galileo. It's interesting. What are you doing? You're not on the list. Everyone's loyalty should be tested. I know you are loyal. He has unnerving ideas about love. But you're not in love with him. How does one live unsure of the love others have for them? I love her. It is difficult. We are not in love. This is fucking cruel. Why don't you fucking love me, by the way? I suggest you admit your love for me. Uh, Peter, I am fond of you. I see. You are to toy with me longer. You are playing a game on me. I love that you see that. You are the oddest of creatures. Cruel and thoughtless. I'm making Galileo planets out of boiled eggs for Paul. Tender. Entertaining. And bizarre. Somehow you've inexplicably cheered me. I'm fond of you. 
in some ways you break my heart. You played a game on me. I love that you see that. Yours is not a normal heart. You are not capable of love. Not real love. Selflessness for another. I wanted your happiness more than my own. Tenderness, curiosity, intimacy. I'd love to not love you some days. It is a burden, is it? Unrequited love is notoriously so. I don't love you. I will never love you in the way you hope. I'm stunned. You hate him. Right. You okay? I already lost one love. You love him? No, of course I don't. Your lies. My lies? You love me. I don't want to kill him. I love him. <laughs> I can't kill her. I love her. Fucking bitch. I loved you. Everything in me wants to fucking kill him. Not everything. Do you really think it's changed? People's nature is people's nature. I know him. I have changed him. And Peter's my great love. It turns out the worst thing in life is to come up against your own limitations and stumble. And then, in the fall, you crush the one person you wish to be your best friend. I've carried a romantic idea of people all my life. Perhaps too romantic. I saw a great love as a kind of perfect love. Maybe it's not. Maybe a great love is a flawed one. When they want to kill you, that's a red flag.